Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at what is rebalancing in your life. I think it's good to look at this topic of rebalancing because the eclipse, which yeah, I'm still talking about, isn't that amazing? We covered it a bit in the last reading, but I am going to bring it up in this one too because that was quite powerful and I've been working with some of you and hearing from many people that the eclipse was very powerful and for some people it's been quite hard. I now know two people who had car accidents and I know some of you your energy is still out of whack so I thought it'd be a good idea to just take a look at what what's going on and, and really focus on this topic of rebalancing there's something rebalancing what is it so choose from either group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one then you are in the right place let's shuffle the cards and see what comes through so I think we're going to take two of these. Let's see, what other decks have I got? I've got Saturn, I've got two Oracle decks. Why don't we take three of these? One from Saturn and then two from the Oracle decks. And we're shuffling to find out what needs rebalancing in your life. Okay, we'll take that one. It's poking out. And this one, as well as this one. Okay, so we've just about got our tarot. Now these should all be upright. These are 50-50 reversed and upright. I recalibrated <laughs> this deck. So let's see what comes through. And we'll have one of these. I've also got my jar of random quotes, which I don't know what's in there. <laughs> Every week it's like this. I wrote it on the weekend, so it's a bit far away. That's why I've kind of forgotten. I think that's upright. I always read oracle cards upright. Okay, and oh, it's poking out. All right, well, let's see. Let's see what this is. I'm curious to see. Okay, chaos and conflict. This is interesting. So when it comes to rebalancing something in your life, I would say that quite a lot is being worked through at the moment. And know that this is a good thing. It might not feel like it, but look at that. This creature is um, becoming someone new you know he, he was this but he's actually a zebra underneath right so and we've got a master number here 33 so this you might be rebuilding your life at quite a high level actually it could also be very abstract the rebuilding like physically your life might look the same, but it's abstract. It's like um, your feelings, your emotions, your mental state, your spiritual self, everything, all of that is just getting a complete overhaul perhaps at this time. Okay, false person. Right. This could be part of the transition. Okay, so as I was saying, here in an abstract sense you're becoming someone new and false person this would be a dismantling of ego okay so anything within your world that has been false that isn't true it, it can't last in the place where you are going so i think you're going somewhere quite incredible that is requiring this amount of transition 
that's pretty incredible. Okay, let's see what Saturn has to say. Three of Cups, beautiful. And this is upright, okay? So this deck, this is the only deck where there are reversals and you've got an upright card here. So that's quite incredible. And this is a beautiful card. This is all about celebration. This is about being with friends. This is about, you know, and maybe, yeah, look at that. You're meeting numerous people and that's very exciting. So that's great, okay? So... You're being transformed. And it, this, this might be painful. Let's see what else we've got in here. But what you've got coming is so good. It's celebration. It's, this is a lovely card, the Three of Cups. It's absolutely beautiful. Interesting, we've got a lot of threes here as well. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Okay, so we've got the King of Pentacles. So... This is linking in with what I was saying about how physically your life might look the same. He does look a bit like, now he, he's clearly the king of pentacles here, but doesn't he look like the, look, the way that he's holding on to this pentacle looks a little bit like the four of pentacles card. So it's kind of like, I feel like he's he is holding on. There's some sort of holding on or looking for security while this incredible transition is happening right so there is a part of you i think that's looking for security that's looking for okay i feel like my whole world is changing but what can i count on what is the same what is consistent because i feel like you'll need some stability you'll need you'll need some solid earth okay and that is what this is the pentacles it's earth energy right Let's have a look here. Okay, the world, beautiful. So if you do this, if you do, if you allow the transition, if you allow the breakdown to occur, this is definitely linking in with this. You've got this to look forward to. You've got the completion of a cycle. You've got success. This is a beautiful card, the world card. It's really, really, really great. And let's take a look here. Okay, that's the emperor. Wow, big energies, big, big energies, big masculine energies, okay? So I'm definitely going to put these two over here because I think this is what you are coming to, okay? You're coming to a major completion, but some things have to change. And I would say it is to do with your masculine side, your masculine energies and we've got this this is slow there's nothing about this that is fast because we've got the king of pentacles here this is not an overnight job i think this is big this this transition that you're going through and it's very abstract Master number 33, you're working at the high levels of, the high unseen, invisible, abstract levels of your life. All of that is being transformed. And this could be, you could see this as a transition from king to emperor, okay? Because, and there's something about maybe the way you were doing things in the past, it wasn't right or it wasn't the thing or there was ego there could be yeah it, like ego and control is being dismantled at this time that that would make a lot of sense in the context of these cards but you have a lot to look forward to you have you're going to have things to celebrate this is did i say celebrate here i really should have said this is the card of celebration this is the card of you know you enjoying life being with lots of people, you loving life, you celebrating, you celebrating all this hard work that's going on here that could be difficult and that could be painful as well. As you grow into this new version of yourself and as you leave this king stage of life behind and move into the emperor stage, you will you'll see yourself differently. 
you'll see the past differently. You'll be grateful for who you are becoming as well because this, this is beautiful energy here. So good, very, very good group one. This is, this is excellent. Keep going with, with the flow of this. At times you will feel like him. Look at that. You know, you, you'll be like, I don't want to change or I don't want anything to change or I don't want my world to change. You'll definitely go through that. But you'll see yourself differently. And you, know, you won't need to be so masked. You won't need to... You'll be this guy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Look, he's not wearing any mask. He is himself. He's transparent. He's honest. He is visible. He is, he's in charge. You're coming, you're coming to a whole new you. But it's, this, is a, this is a transition that's going to take time. It's not, yeah, this, this is not an overnight thing. Okay, let's see what's in here. <laughs> All right, let's take two of these. There are three for each group. But if we don't need to crack open a third, we won't. And I'll save the third and put it on Instagram. So there are nine in total. I remember that much. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Your level of success would rarely exceed your level of personal development because success is something you attract by the person you become. Absolutely perfect. This is what a cracker. I mean, we don't even really need that. We will, though, because I've drawn it. But <laughs> this is just exactly these cards. Exactly. And you want to be this right why stay here why why be a king when the next level is opening the emperor level is opening and saying step up and be this right of course you want to be that but yeah their fears will come up and all kinds of things okay and you will feel out of control but it's worth it it's just about doing the work it's just about doing the work all that personal development work, it's worthwhile. It really is. I'm doing it. <laughs> I've been doing my meditation every day. Okay, uh, the world suffers a lot, not because of the violence of bad people, but because of the silence of good people. Yeah. And I think, well, let's have a look here. Not because of... Speaking up, doing something. Let's take another one. This is, this is not the most ideal for this group. I mean, it's okay, but I'm, I'm kind of looking at this in the context of... Maybe there is a speaking up component. I mean, the silence of good people. This is the thing, like... You know, do you think this emperor is going to be a quiet kind of a guy? I don't think so. I think he is... Um, he's vocal, isn't he? He speaks up. Let's, let's get another one. But that first one, that's outstanding. This quote, I'm not 100% sure why it's here. The world suffers a lot. I can't, your world is suffering a lot. I'm seeing that. Uh, in, not like in a bad way, but like I'm seeing that you're in major transition here. Let's just take one more. Okay. This is a good quote. All right. Trauma survivors crave honesty and authenticity. Yeah, we've had to fight for our ability to think clearly and know who we are. It's cost us greatly. We aren't willing to engage with those who do not honour that. Yes, this is very appropriate for this group, I think, because I think what you're doing, you're doing, you, ideally, you're doing your personal development work because success awaits you and quite a lot of success too. Look at that. You've got the world completion. You've got all this socialising, beautiful people, all that, right? So great. Okay, so that's coming. But you have to do the work. And yeah, this thing of trauma survivors. Yes, correct. This is the false person thing, 
Look at that. Trauma survivors crave honesty and authenticity. Absolutely. We've had to fight for our ability to think clearly and know who we are. I think you have suffered at the hands of false people in your life. And that would be from childhood. And since childhood, you've attracted false people in. And I know what this feels like. It's not great. I know exactly what this feels like. I know what this is all about. And you are going to be changing your life so that you, and you're going to attract the right people. Okay? You're going to attract far better people into your world if you do your self development work. You're moving away from old ways of being that don't work for you. And you just have to do the work. And I'll tell you, I've been doing a daily practice of meditation, 20 minutes twice a day. And before that, you just sit down and you write your fears. It's incredible. And then you do your meditation. Okay, so that personal development work, find a daily practice that works for you. And I'm telling you, it will transform your world. Group number one, we have just about run out of time, but thank you so much for tuning in. I'm wishing you well on your journey. And let me know how you get on in the comments below. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what comes through. As with any of my readings, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. And it's perfectly fine, guys, to leave a reading midway, you know, if it's not the right thing or you're not feeling it, you know, you can leave it midway. I've done that sometimes where I dip in. Rarely though, usually I pick them and I'm like, yep, that's exactly me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take one of these, one of my Saturn decks. So all these should be upright. And then these are kind of 50-50 reversed. So we'll see what happens. Okay one of these. I'm not very good at shuffling these. Okay. Give it a good shuffle. Okay, that one wants to be there. So we're having it. Good. And one of these. Okay. I hope you're doing good wherever you are. We're going to take a look at the topic of rebalancing. What is rebalancing in your world? All right, look at this, The Never Ending Story. Wasn't there a film called The Never Ending Story? I'm trying to remember it. And there was, was there a giant dog, mythical dog or something? I don't know. There's, um, she's sitting on an hourglass. Oh, and there's a heart there that says love. Oh, right. So what, and it says yes, no, yes. Oh, and there's a tiny little arrow. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera. Oh, interesting. Is there some indecision about love? This is like that, does he love me? Does he not? That kind of thing. There's also time. Sands through the hourglass. There's a mirror. She is looking a little bit stressed out. Okay. She's also wearing a mask. God, there's a lot going on here. I don't know where to begin. So let's, let's see what some of the other cards have to say. All right. Sudden wealth. Well, this is terrific. Good. I'm happy to see that. I think everyone would love some of that. Okay. Uh, let's keep going here. All right. So we've got the six of swords in reverse. Okay. Some things are starting to come clear here because this is a card of moving on. Apologies, it's a little bit dusty. There's, okay. It's like you're resisting moving forward. Ideally, when this is in its upright position, you're moving on and you're not taking your baggage with you. You're moving on to a new start, to a fresh start. But I feel like there's something, because I knew there was something going on here with this heart, right? Because 
there's this love yes no going on here and it feels like you're kind of 50 50 about something or someone or some situation or some you know do i move on or do i not there there feels like that kind of thing going on interestingly we do have number 37 here which becomes one which is a new beginning okay two of cups yeah look at that all right let's keep going this is starting to become very clear now uh seven of cups yes look at this all right well the story is very much being told and let's keep going the hermit yeah i i agree <laughs> that's good good card <laughs> um because when you're in these situations where you don't know it is a little bit i just heard the phrase am i coming or going am i coming or going this kind of thing and we've also got this 11 adds to two as well so we've got two two we've got a one but we've got this seven of cups i do get the sense that you are unsure about being with someone and it's not clear it's difficult and you know i'm kind of getting the sense i'm wanting to put this over here because because maybe one of the reasons why we get into these situations of um, being like oh do i stay or should i go i mean this card this card saturn here is clearly telling you to move on i think but like it, it's come in the reverse which feels like you are resisting moving on and i think you value what's there what you have with this person you see them you love them of course but perhaps there are choices or you think, is this the right choice for me? You see, because look at her face. This is why she, she's not looking happy. Okay, look, the wings are down. She's holding her head. Okay. And this is the never ending story. It's like, it's like you want things to go to the next level, but they're not. It could be that as well. It could be you want something in your situation or in your love life. You want something to go to the next level, but there's resistance. Something's not not a hundred percent here. And the reason I put this over here with the hermit is because if you take some time out, you will come into an abundance mindset. Okay. Sorry about the dust here. There we go. Well, we're clearing away some dust. Isn't that interesting? Because you need clarity, don't you? Because you're not sure. And there are all these choices and it's like, well, and do I stay or do I go? Do I stay or do I go? I am getting that sense here. Let's take another one from Saturn, actually. I want to clarify, is it is it right to say, yeah, is this person like, do I stay or do I go? Is there something like that? something you're unsure about and the reason i bring this here is because abundance if you take some time out on your own you'll realize that this is an abundant universe and i've been watching these videos by this brilliant lady called um the what is it the the fairy the crappy childhood fairy that's what she's called and she talks about how you crap fit. This is her concept, right? Where she's saying like, it's terrible for you, but you try to make it fit. And she's kind of saying, don't do that. Go away, heal, be on your own. Recognize that we're in an abundant universe where there is someone who you don't have to fit to your life. Like there is someone who right now is good and whole and ready to go and wants to love you. That exists now okay so that's the abundance side of things and that you will discover if you take some time out and be on your own so that that's a good move okay and if this let's see all right let's just let's see what saturn has to say about this <laughs> let's see what's going on give us some info here saturn okay oh we've got two whoa okay big reading let's do it all right 
Let's take this one first. Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? Maybe, because she likes to speak, she likes to, do you know? And she likes to set boundaries. She's good at that. So there's something about you, perhaps you're not setting boundaries and you need to be, okay? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. This, this whole situation is going to take work. It's going to take effort and it's going to take work. There's something about you needing to set a boundary. And there's something, do you know, this can be a card of confusion and illusion. This Seven of Cups. So there can be some of that going on here. But I am actually going to put this over here because I'm going to say that you. it would be good for you to have a more abundant mindset. I'm not saying that this situation, I'm not saying that this situation is not good or that it wouldn't work out. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that you'll, you will clear the confusion with some time on your own. I am saying that. Yeah. But I'm not saying this is terrible or don't do it. No. And I, I'm saying you need to put up some boundaries. That would be a good thing. Yeah. Let's see what we've got in here. <laughs> Never ending story. See, because, yeah, see if you do believe in past lives. And that's where the crappy childhood fairy I think that's what she calls herself it's it's a terrific name but she she kind of doesn't believe in any of that stuff she doesn't believe in the past lives and all that thing and I I, I can see both sides I mean I'm undecided about some of these things let's have a look here Oh, interesting time we've got time as sand in the hourglass time is a created thing to say, I don't have time, is like saying, I don't want to. Yeah. I mean, maybe this could be read in quite a few ways. You could be dealing with someone in a relationship who's like, well, I don't have time. I don't have time to work on this relationship or something like that. Or they don't, they're not interested in personal development or something along those lines. See, if so, it, it, this, is, this is bringing up those feelings of, yes, yeah, if, if someone really wants to, they will, you know? Hence why you being on your own is a good thing, I think, at this time. I'm kind of getting the sense that you, you I think, I feel like you would work on it, but I, I think that they might not. And you, it's you who's resisting moving forward. Let's let's make these upright. I haven't even opened this. Let's let's do this. Let's do this now. Some healing. I'm not saying that you're you're moving on from the person or whatever. No, I'm just saying that you're ready to move forward. And you're gonna draw some boundaries. I think this is gonna be healthy for you. Let's have a look and see what okay well we'll just let it do its thing <laughs> uh okay ah this is beautiful in shamanic societies if you told a medicine person you are disheartened dispirited or depressed they would ask one of four questions when did you stop dancing when did you stop singing when did you stop being enchanted by stories and when did you stop finding comfort in the sweetness of silence yes look at that that is so perfect oh i love this how fantastic absolutely yeah find the sweetness of silence group two and spend time in it and you'll feel abundant and you'll just feel good and and this you know We'll, we'll figure itself out. You shouldn't have to um, be holding your hand in, in your head in your hands, kind of thing, right? You you can be. Look at this. Look at that. 
She's got her head held high. And she's a happy being. <laughs> that is the way forward, guys. All right, well, group number two, thank you so much for tuning in. I do hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on with this reading in the comments below. I would love to know. I'm a bit behind on comments and emails and all kinds of things. So, uh, but I'm catching up. So thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle and see what comes through. All the readings have been a bit longer today. And yeah, I think there's a lot of change in the air. A lot is being kind of like group one in an abstract, in the abstract invisible world, a lot's being shifted, changed, moved around. There's a lot of maneuvering feels like on the other side it kind of feels like our angels are working over time do you know what i'm going to take all these three look at that <laughs> very decisive group number three good energy all right let's see what's happening with these okay nope this one's poking up okay and then we're going to have one of these. So as with any of my readings, guys, please take on board what resonates and what doesn't. By the way, with Oracle cards, I always, if that's upside down, uh, I'm going to upright it, just letting you know. This, these are 50-50 reversed in the Saturn deck. These should be upright. But yeah, take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't because not all the messages apply all right we'll look at this one first round and round okay you're in a loop round and round I think in one of the previous videos one of the previous astro chats I mentioned how mercury has this really tight round and round type circle that it goes in whereas like the curve of Saturn is big well so we've got mercury here perhaps Speaking of Saturn, let's check him out next. Yeah, why not? Oh, look at that. Okay, the Three of Swords in. This is good. You're, you're healing. You're massively healing. Great. Uh, that curve, as I said, so here with Mercury, tight round and round type situation. Here, you're on a good thing. You're on a good, long, big curve of healing. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm happy about that, group three. Message of concern. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's in here. Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. This is very much a card of independently enjoying your wealth and abundance. Great card. A lot of happiness there. The chariot moving forward, moving movement, just even just movement, you know. It's also cancer it's also like the fourth house of home your heart all that kind of thing beautiful the six of wands this is victory yes i'm loving this group three. Oh, oh i'm happy for you i'm loving this i can see a huge amount of healing here i think you've healed massively we are going to look at this what's this but i i sort of feel like whatever this is you're in such good energy because i think You've broken some kind of, I feel like, I think you were in some kind of round and round cycle. Maybe it was a karmic cycle. I don't know what, but like uh, you're going round and round on something. And it, like, like you're in a washing machine. It's like everything's the same, the same, the same. But I feel like you have come out of that. You're on Saturn's big, slow, beautiful curve here. You're healing. Okay, you're healing your heart. And because you have decided to heal your heart, look at that, there's abundance here. There's, there's abundance, you're abundant, there's wealth, you're happy, okay? There's movement in your life, again, movement forward. What are you moving to? You're moving to victory. Six of Wands, this is, you ride back into town and everyone said you couldn't do it and you, you're riding back in saying, well, I've done it, actually. You know, I have healed. You know, you, you, you didn't think I could. 
but look at me now, right? Beautiful energy. This I'm interested in a little bit. Let's have a look. Let's see what it is. How do we do that? What am I going to... Uh, let's... Um, oh, let's get another one of these. We might get another one of these and another one of these. How about that? Okay. Get that one. And then and I want one from here too. Let's see what comes through. We're asking about the message of concern. Okay, let's take it. If we need that one, but if we don't, I'll just kind of park that there. If we don't need it, we, we won't take it. Okay, tradition. Okay, this is also like the high priest, I do believe. It's interesting in this deck that they've got it depicted as a female, but it is the high priest, it's tradition, it's education. Some readers will say that it's a card of commitment as well, making some kind of traditional commitment to someone. Okay, so th this in relation to this could be, I mean, it could even be a job offer or something like that because message of concern or something regarding your work. I don't know. Let's see. Is this a work thing? What is this? The hermit in reverse. Okay, interesting. I want to get, I actually want to get another one of these about this story here. The Hierophant. What is this message of concern? What is this message of concern? All right, that's very clear. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. So that is uh, pretty obvious what's going on there. It, okay, so it feels like there's some um, communication or something maybe, I don't know, someone wants to communicate with you. Someone wants to communicate. So I feel like someone wants to express their truth to you, actually. And I don't think that this is a message of concern at all. I, I think if somebody wants to express whatever it is that's going on in their life, I think that's wonderful and allow that. I, I think freedom of expression not that you would block it or well what can you well, look at that there's a five both times that's interesting as well not i was going to say not that you can block it you can't block someone from speaking but like well your energy can yeah but i don't see you as being in a position where you're going to be blocking anything group number three what i see is that I think you've broken some kind of karmic cycle. I think you've healed your heart massively. You're enjoying life on your own, which I think is the most success we can achieve, actually. I think that's the highest level. I'm just checking the time, yeah. I think that's the highest level order of success we can achieve. If you can be happy on your own, that's it. You found it, you know. If you can fill your own cup, if you can be happy on your own, that's the true victory. And you've, I feel like you, if you, don't, if you don't feel like you're there yet, you are very much on your way. Look at that chariot movement. You're going to be there. You're going to be in this place of loving life on your own, on your own terms, with a healed heart. And I don't think you're going to have to encounter this again too much if you do it will be mild and you will see yourself recover easily okay it, you know if it, because look life does happen in, in spirals and circles and we do keep encountering the same things again and again and but each time you go up a little bit because that spiral is just going up right it's that coiled spring that's going up so the next time you encounter the same thing you will see yourself bounce back very quickly you're not going to be, uh, yeah, I'm just hearing in a mess sort of thing. Like I feel like you're getting so strong is what I'm seeing here. And you're ready to come out. 
You're ready to enjoy the world. You're ready to meet people. You're ready to have fun. You're ready to, yeah, enjoy life, you know, enjoy being with people and going out and, you know, I used to do that in my 20s. It was so fun. I used to go to, um, what did I do? I used to go to this thing called Ciroc in Kensington. It was so much fun. I met so many cool people through that and, yeah. You put your dancing shoes on, you know, and you go out and have fun. Let's see what comes. I hope it's something really good and lovely. I don't know how positive any of these are. I've forgotten what I wrote. That always happens. I always find these cool quotes and then I forget what I put. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is it. This is exactly this spread. I am thankful for all those who said no to me. It's because of them I'm doing it myself. Albert Einstein, yes, yes, look at that. She's doing it herself. She's happy, you know, she doesn't need anyone. This is the place to be. It goes for the same for guys, you know, as well. But I do think for women it can be, I don't know, is it harder for women? I don't know. I'm thankful for all those who said no to me. Yeah. It's because of them I'm doing it myself. Do you know, this applies to jobs, love life, everything. I'm, I feel like this. I've had so many. Oh, I've applied for so many jobs and so many people said, no, we don't want you, we don't want you. And it's like, do you know what? It's because of all those rejections. I'm now doing my own thing and I'm so happy. I'm so ha so much happier doing what I'm doing right now. I tell you, oh, I want to keep doing this. Like, yeah, you know. Everybody who says no, it's fantastic because you find yourself, you heal yourself, you know, you, you change life and, and you're ready, you're ready to, to just enjoy and give back kind of thing. Okay, let's have a look here. Spirituality automatically leads to humility. When a flower develops into a fruit, the petals drop off on their own. A tree laden with fruit always bends low. Humility is a sign of greatness. Oh, how gorgeous. Sri Ramakrishna Paramansa. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I think this links into this situation here, that if, let's say, somebody wanted to express their truth to you, in whatever way or whatever that is, I would imagine that you would receive that beautifully and you'd be so, because you're in a great place. You're healing, you're ready to meet the world again. And I feel like it, and maybe people sense that and maybe they recognize that, you know, I could have done something different or better and, and they, they just want to express that to you or something like that. And I feel like that would be lovely. But I mean, equally, I don't see you waiting around for that. I, I definitely don't. I kind, of, I kind of see you enjoying life. And this, this hermit in the reverse is showing that, yeah, it's time to, to, uh, to enjoy. And, and if you're in a part of the world where you can, I know that lockdowns are starting to happen, like in the Northern Hemisphere. Here, for example, we're opening up and like, yeah, there was this, freedom ball or something and my mom said oh you should go and I was like oh no but like who knows you know that, that's the future like yeah things are becoming more social it's nice anyway guys we've got a couple left in the jar I think we're gonna leave it there I'll put I'll put these on Instagram so we can see what didn't come through but thank you so much for joining and group number three I'm wishing you so well because I think in the last what is it two three readings i know you've been dealing with some massive heartbreak and if you're still going through with that just know know that what's awaiting you i tell you what's exciting it's this it's this spread right here your heart is ready to go and victory this is beautiful i'm so happy for you group number three so take care and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.